we really appreciate his visit to our headquarters and all the great things the senator has been doing for Greek and affairs and Cyprus affairs. Um, we feel that uh, everything, Senator, you've done for Greece and Cyprus, I don't believe a Greek legislator has done it, has done it. and maybe you should be the next one to run for office in Greece. Uh, everybody in this region of the world appreciates your input, your involvement, your fight for international law, uh, fairness, justice. Um, would like you, we feel obliged to support, to keep supporting you for all the great things you've been doing. Thank you. And um, we hope and we trust that you're going to continue supporting this for freedom, for justice around the world and especially in that difficult region. Thank you very much for visiting us. Thank you. Kalispera <laughs> sas. It's a pleasure to be here. Uh, Mr. Kalafatis, thank you so much for hosting us Our and pleasure. bringing us all together in an extraordinary building. I've obviously never been here before, uh, but uh, I don't see uh, many workplaces like this in the nature of the construction and other work that you do. So it's a testament to your spirit, to the people who work with you and for you. So I want to salute you on that and the many successes you've had. You're part of uh, the incredible Hellenic success story and who has shared it with uh, so many of uh, my brethren from uh, uh, the Southern Hemisphere. So, es un placer estar aquí con todos ustedes, ¿no? Así que el señor Calafatis obviamente tiene buen mentalidad de emplear a tantos ustedes. Así que, now that I have legitimized myself in both Greek and <laughs> Spanish, uh, I'm going to just stay with English for now. Uh, so thank you for hosting us. Thank you Our for pleasure, bringing us together. My dear friend, uh, Tasso Sambas, uh, and uh, my uh, other distinguished friend, who has now moved to the back because he's a journalist, so, uh, <laughs> Mihali, uh, thank, thank you for the introduction as well. Uh, and thank you for your help. Uh, the, uh, I am going to be in, in up for re-election in two years, the United States Senate. Uh, if you told me, growing up poor, uh, the son of refugees, in a tenement uh, in New Jersey, the first in my family to go to college and then go to law school, that I could rise to be one of 100 United States senators in a country of 320 million people, I would have said that's unlikely at that part of my life. But it is the promise of America fulfilled. It is a promise that I fight to keep true for future generations of Americans. It's what drives me every day in the United States Senate. Uh, and so uh, I appreciate, uh, as someone who grew up poor and has spent his entire adult life in public service, uh, I will be completing uh, in two years when my term ends, that will be 50 years of public service. And it's not that I'm, it's, it's, it's not that, I'm that old, I started young, so. Uh, I know the age, uh, I started at 18. Uh, yeah, so, <laughs> Uh, so, uh, obviously, I, I don't have the wherewithal to do what my opponent in the last election, who is a pharmaceutical executive who spent $40 million of his own money uh, to run against me. Uh, it seems that he's coming back again in two years. Uh, he, uh, I won by 10 points, even though I spent half of what he spent. That's the good news. The bad news is that he sold his company and he has more money than when he ran against me in Alaska. So I keep sending notes to his wife and children. Do you really think this is a good way to spend your future inheritance? But uh, it doesn't seem to work. So I thank you for your financial support uh, as well. Uh, and because that's, it allows me to do these things. You know, I, I have a great portfolio in the United States Senate. I sit on the Senate Finance Committee that deals with all tax policy, all trade policy, or healthcare related issues. Uh, and so there, and it also is the committee, whenever the federal government wants to do something, and if that has a price tag to it, it is the committee that creates revenue to meet that need. So therefore it has the broadest jurisdiction because there are so many things the government wants to do. So 